Hello and welcome to Online Appliance Tech. Today we're working on a LG top load washer that has no power. As you can see, once I press the power button, nothing's happening. So if you have the same symptoms, it's probably going to be your display control board. So in this video, we're going to show you how to replace the main control board and display control board. So once you get behind the washer, there will be six Philip head screws that you'll have to remove to remove the back panel. So there should be two here on the bottom, but for some reason they're already gone. One there, one there, and there's three at the top of the panel. Once you remove the five Phillips screws, you will have to pry the back panel off, which I will show you here in a moment. Okay, so we're going to take a flat head and kind of go towards the back on this clip and just pry forward and it'll kind of just snap out as you pull. There we go. And you'll do the same on the right hand side. So as you can see, I'm kind of getting underneath it to pull, give me a little leverage and then I'll take my hand and pull it out or hold it and pull it out the rest of the flat head. There we go. And basically they're just clipped into place. So we have one clip on the left and one on the right to remove this little lower panel. So you're going to clip the clip towards the left and as you press the panel forward as it will clip forward. So you'll pull it towards its left, the clip, and it will loosen up the lower half panel, display panel. And this one will press towards the right to unclip. So once they're unclipped, you'll just kind of lift this forward, upwards and out. If you still have some type of resistance, just make sure that clip is loosened, as you'll see here. And there we go. Once you get up close and personal with it, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. There's two clips. Some of these units, they do have two Phillips screws that hold it down also. But the newer models are like this. So here we do have two Phillips screws that holds the display into place that we will have to remove. Pull the display back and just lean it over on his face. If you want to put something in front of it to protect it, if you're going to replace it, don't really worry about it. Make sure you unplug it. Obviously, that should have already been done. Um, these are clipped on, so you just kind of pry them off. You could take like a little flat head and also pry them off. And this is how you're going to get to the connections and so forth. Sometimes this panel, this housing, they will have a Phillips screw to hold it into place. 
and then you have two Phillips screws here. It looks like someone's been into this one a little bit already, as I can I can see. Uh, remove the two Phillips screws, and this is going to separate the main board from the display control board. There's two boards that are stuck together. So this is a display harness that connects to the main board. So I'm going to have to disconnect this harness to release the main board. And it has a little clip you have to press in as you pull out. So there's the main board. If you ever have to just replace the main board, in this case, in this video, we're going to replace the main control board and display control board together, which they come together. And also we're going to replace the front panel since it's a fairly cheap part. So the knob you just basically pull off. It has a little bit of resistance, so just hold the panel and pull straight off. I believe these panels are about $35, so they're not that expensive. So sometimes you're just better off buying a new panel also. And then this is the main control board and display control board, which in this case they came together. I do believe you can buy them separate if you don't want to buy the assembly together, but I recommend just buying it together. It'll probably be easier that way. So the harnesses that are left on the old main control board, we will just un plug those and connect them to the new main control board. But first we're going to line it up with the new display panel. So there's clips that at the bottom it they, they have to slide into first. Let me see if I can get a better angle. So the top part they just clip in as you'll see there. There's a couple clips but you have to slide it into the bottom first as you can see there so let's see right there so you have to slide it into the bottom first and then press down and it will clip into place just make sure everything is aligned kind of use your hands to press on both sides to get the levers to press it down You'll just hear it click into place, but it does have to click into place. And this is why I recommend just buying the whole assembly is much easier. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the wires from the old main control board. Okay, let's install the new parts. First thing first, I'm going to reconnect the wire and harnesses. You cannot mess these up, it can only go in one way. Just make sure you connect all of them.
So the knob, it just clicks into place. Remove the uh, cover, plastic cover. It's easier to remove this before you put the knob on because once you put the knob on, it's hard to get around it. Okay, so the knob, you just line it up and press into place with a little force and it'll just click in. Give you a better picture. There you go. Just turn it, make sure everything is smooth. We just want to test and make sure everything's working and there we go we have a working machine now unplug it and just reconnect your display first we have to put the housing and the screws in to hold the main control board I recommend when you remove these screws the first time, just take pictures exactly of where you removed them. That way you don't get confused of where the screws go. Like I said, it looks like someone already tried to work on this, so they may be a little off. I know this panel that I'm installing now, they usually have one Phillips screw that holds the panel into the main board but it's not there but as long as it's clipped incorrectly it should be fine and another thing is make sure you do not cut the wires as you install this cover so you have to make sure they're go coming out the sides that way you're not clipping the wires down and cutting them and so forth so yeah just take your time and so it looks like it's easier if you go from the top first, clip the top first in, and then you'll clip the bottom in, as you'll see. So just realign the, the display. Here's a better picture. It just kind of just sits into place. It's kind of hard to mess up and align the two Phillip head screws. One there, one there. We install, just snug them, don't over tighten them with like a high impact drill, you will bust it. So just a light snug. Use a hand tool if you like. Now we're going to install this lower cover. And this this thing is pretty simple. You just click it right into place, kind of at the down down angle first, and press the top in. Or up angle. My bad. Up and then down. So once it's clipped into place, as you can see, it's clipped into the display. That's pretty much it for that. Then you want to clip in the back panel. You have to clip this in, but just line it up first. Make sure everything's nice and even, and then press it in, and it'll clip right into place. Just reinstall your six screws. Like in this case, we only have three of them, but there should be six, actually five. Three at the top, two at the bottom. That's the model number for this unit.
another tip on this drain line make sure you press it in there i would recommend to zip tie in the drain line to the water hose that way it will not kick out on you So if you have any questions, please leave in comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe for more future tips and videos. Have a good one.